Well, we're on world-class waters, have a, an amazing captain, some of the best equipment money can buy. Quite honestly, the only thing that's a little suspect is uh, the company. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching England Anarchy. The company would be Nate, and uh, truth be told, he's not that bad. Um, <laughs> we, we drove overnight from southern Wisconsin, like idiots, uh, to Lake St. Clair, the Detroit area, and we're fishing with Captain Mark Kornoski, he's in the back right there. I will put his particulars in the description below. Treble maker, blah, blah, blah. Treble maker Fishing Charters is his outfit that he's running out here, does a wonderful job, and we'll put you on muskies. So uh, we're out here on, like I said, beautiful Lake St. Clair. This is the inland sea of muskies, probably one of the top muskie lakes in the world right now. And Mark's got a phone call. Uh, so we are going to see if we can find a muskie. There's stuff going on behind me. And uh, did you just have a follow? No. Oh. No. He Oh, it was so good up to that point, too. <laughs> Alright, folks. Well, it's already a mess here, so we're just we're going to keep going, keep fishing, and we're going to see if we can put one of these beautiful Michigan Lake St. Clair muskies in the boat for you to see. Alright, folks. I'm going to start off with a uh, Esox Assault 109. Uh, I added a little extra dangly blade on the back. This is the Shimmer Shad color. Um, yeah, I'm throwing it on a 9-foot Moab 500 Tranks. Nate and Mark are both throwing Moabs. Uh, I think they've both got the new 9.6, and they're throwing some rubber. Mark's got a Medusa, Nate's got a 10-inch Poseidon. So that's how we're going to start out here on beautiful Lake St. Clair. Here comes one, here comes one. Got a fish. Way back. Here he comes. Yeah, he's coming, he's coming. Got him. Other side. That's all right, that's all right. I thought it was too. Up on top. Oop. <laughs> he just keeps swinging around. <laughs> oh, this guy's making me work today. <laughs> We'll go the other side. Or... Yeah, see what he'll do. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, careful, careful. You just got, you don't have yep. a very good. Yeah. <laughs> well, he ate it, and then he when ate he. It, and I seen him eat it on the, on the hang there. Yeah, when he. It must have been during the fight here, he flipped it out. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Here, let me flip it. Oh, no. 
never done this before, right? Oh, oh yeah. Sort of, kind of, I guess. Oh. <laughs> what a show. Wow. Ho hopefully, we got, hopefully we got all the dumb stuff out on that one, and we don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> just... You won't want anything. Oh. In the uh, live well. All right, we're only what, like 15 minutes in, 15 guys? Minutes, yeah. And that was the craziest eat. Came in really slow, put it in front of its face, engaged with it, ate it. Somehow during the fight, it kind of got back on its head, so it was hard, hard to fight and get in the <laughs> net, as you can probably see. So we probably look like idiots, but we're good at doing that sometimes. No, we so are, we are. So that was <laughs> neat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice fish though. Probably like a 43-ish maybe. Thank you. Spunky one. Yeah. All right, come here. Okay. Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, look at that. Beautiful Lake St. Clair musky. Oh, so cool to be out here. Oh, I'm gonna have to just kind of do this. A little backwards because I grabbed it wrong-handed, but that is almost 44, 45, 43-ish. 44. Okay. Get it. Yep. There she goes. There she goes. Okay. Good. She's healthy. Well, boy, she really, really made us work for that, didn't she? <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we should probably get back at it since we got the one. I, like all I saw was the back half of it going in, and it was. It was, it was a tub. Fell in the water. No. Dude, that was big fish. Yeah. Like, like that 55? was a big. I don't know if it was 55, but it was like. Yeah, it was. Nah. It was. It was big. Wow. Dude, like. I just all right, made, let's uh, let's get cast, and then uh, I gave it a pop, pop right at the end there, and it just came out of nowhere. Well, you know when you go on Facebook and people post pictures of sunsets because they didn't catch anything? There's a beautiful sunset. Uh, and I guess you can't say we didn't catch anything. I did get one right away. I think somebody needs to conduct, conduct a study to see how long it takes before you should just give up if you catch a fish too soon. Is it 15 minutes? Is it a half hour? Let me know what you think in the comments below because it really seems if you get something too soon on a trip, the rest of the day is just shot, and that's kind of what happened for us. Uh, it wasn't for lack of trying, though. I want to thank Captain Mark Kornoski. He's back here behind me, and I don't know how to point. There he is. Um, Troublemaker Fishing Charters is his outfit, and you should check it out because he does an amazing job uh, finding fish, usually. They were just dumb today. Um, <laughs> muskies are muskies, people. If you've done this long enough, you know that it doesn't matter if you are on world-class waters, you are gonna go out and get your butt kicked every now and again. It is just gonna happen, unfortunately. Uh, the good news is, at least it's sorta of good news, we get to do this all again tomorrow. <laughs> 
Nate's thrilled. Um, I'm more thrilled about the bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> There may be some drinks and pizza uh, in our future that we're a little bit more excited about than fishing right now. But uh, I guarantee you, we will be excited to do this again tomorrow and uh, hopefully we'll have a video for you to watch. And with that, I really appreciate every single one of you watching this mess and I'll see you in the next video.